Okay. Before continuing with the yesterday session, uh, Bogdaras, yesterday you have watched one of the question, and I have given you the answer wrong actually. I said no, but it's possible. So we will uh, discuss that first, and again we will continue with the today session where we have stopped the joint component parameters. So the example was. Let me correct my answer. What I said yesterday, no. That will be possible actually. So the question yesterday the bugger has asked us is uh, for the normalized with the multi-stage transform we have shown with the cumulative summaries. So he wanted like for every record he wanted the total sum. So let me go back to the same example then discuss with the problem. I think I have updated the same DMA. Okay, I will show you the exact one. I'll just show you the output for. It's also my detection. I think this file is also updated. Okay, but if you remember, like yesterday when we were discussing this multi-stage transform. We are getting a cumulative summary and 52.20 and this record was 74.45, right? So similarly, once the group has been changed, we will be getting 47.95, then 47.95 plus 221.24. The result will be here plus the result plus 17.45, 286.60 we will be getting. So the Bhagirath's question was, this was, can we achieve like this? Yes, it's possible. I thought of showing the uh, yesterday's result set and then running of this graph. I will open the other graph where we have done this. Okay. No idea. Everywhere I have updated the same Excel for, so it has overwritten the contents. It seems okay, but it is possible. Uh, tomorrow I will show you once again how it is possible because the result I have achieved this one.
and this was okay i will open the other graph with the serial data there was yesterday two questions one with the serial data how can we produce the output and the other one was within the vector how can we calculate the total sum for each of the record okay so this is an example for serial data so we have like customer id items and quantity so this customer has brought two items and each of the quantity mango orange items mango has brought 20 and orange has brought 20 items so we can be distributed like this serial data with two records one of the record has been distributed to two records so one just basic example i have taken so is it fine bravali and bagiras how can we distribute the records when we are getting a serial records hello yes yes bank okay uh tomorrow i will show you the other example which i have shown you the results set today i think instead of creating a new excel for file uh, mm -hmm. i just opened the component and updated the same file it seems so it has overwritten the old contents so like this because uh, this example and the serial example first i tried with this example the vector data then i tried the serial one so it has overwritten the vector one and the, the serial one but we can achieve the result bagheras uh, no. i think yeah we... uh, can you show me that uh, transform function for that yeah that is and uh, the transformation i have given the same excel for file uh, i forgot to Okay. Uh, give the a new one. So I have given the output dot excel for first. I have corrected uh, this code, the one which you asked that out. So then I have created another graph by just copying these contents. And again, I have updated uh, this same transformation. So it has overwritten with this. So tomorrow I will show you once again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. But we can achieve that. or maybe uh, you know you can show it in the class itself tomorrow we can you know like but, when you can when you're working on that you can show it to us i'm not getting ready what is that no i'm saying like you said tomorrow you will uh, i mean change the example and show it right yes yes uh, can we do that in the class itself tomorrow um any time yeah sometime Yeah okay fine tomorrow's uh, class i will show you yeah, okay uh, tomorrow or weekend or anything is fine for me uh, tomorrow is also fine for me also because i uh, yesterday night only i have created these two graphs but uh, by mistake uh, i was uh, editing the same excel for again and again so it was replaced i will show okay, you okay because i just wanted to see like how you create the graph and all okay okay fine yeah Okay. And we'll continue with the yesterday's uh, session where we stop with the parameters of the join. So we discussed yesterday so far like discussing select override key dedupe and record required parameters. Then we have the next set of the parameter called max memory. so by default it will be having 8 mb so what it will say is and when this parameter becomes available is whenever we select sorted input parameter as input must be sorted then only this parameter becomes available a max memory and by default it will be having 8 mb bytes we, according to the files we are going to receive in our project we have to set this memory of course this will be decided by the architects what kind of the 
size we have to give it like uh, we have another set of the components also like sort component and roll up scan such kind of the components where we have to give the memory so it's uh, according to the developer we don't do it but the architects has to decide it based on the data what kind of the size we have to set it when the data is loading into the disk or when it is loading into the memory but by default if we are going to discuss the max memory will be having an 8 mb bytes so what it will say is when we select sorted input parameter as input must be sorted then this much of bytes will be allocated on the disk for as part of the join processing and we have a parameter called check sort so if the values it will contain are like true or false so this is also available only when you set sorted input as input must be sorted. So when you say that input must be sorted and according to the key and if you are sending the unsorted data and by selecting the check sort parameter as a true, the graph will fail because we are saying to the join component that I will be sending a sorted order data based on the key parameter. But if the join, para join component encounters an unsorted data, then the graph will be failed and this is a component which will take care of this check sort by making it to true and then we have a parameter called driving so the driving parameter by default the value will be zero so what does it says is <coughs> whenever we select sorted input parameter as in memory input need not be sorted so in such a case this parameter becomes available and these two parameters will not be available whenever we are selecting sorted input as in memory option then the highlighted parameters will not be available this parameter becomes available and by default the value of this driving port will be zero it says that let's say i have a uh, in the join component count as four that is in zero in one in two and in three so in this case i have like in two as a Huge file. So whichever the file you have that port to be selected as a driving file, whichever the port you are connecting to the join component with the huge data load, that port has to be selected as a driving port. But by default, the value of the driving port will be zero, means specifying to the in zero file. So that what will happen is whatever the file we have selected as a driving file. Other than the driver file, all the non-driver files. So in, in this case, if you say like a count having four and four ports having and in two is a huge file, then the into port will be called as a driving file or the driving port. And all the other ports that is in zero, in one and in three, we call it as non-driver files. So these non-driver files will be loaded into the RAM. So whenever we set it as a sorted input parameter as a in memory option input need not be sorted then the data will be all the non drivers data will be loaded into the RAM first and how much data it will take care. So we have an another parameter called max code. So this also becomes available when we set sorted input parameter as in memory input need not be sorted and by default the value of this max score is 64 MB so let's say all the non driver files are like 50 MB so and the driver file is 40 MB size then in such a case out the first the non driver files of 50 all the three non driver files of 50 MB will be loaded into the RAM and remaining 14 MB of the driver file will be loaded into the RAM out of the 40 MB and the remaining 26 MB will be spilled to the disk. So this is one example other than if the non driver files itself will be like having 70 MB then till 64 MB of all the non driver files will be loaded into the RAM and 6 MB of one of the non driver file will be spilled to the disk and the whole data of the driver file will be spilled to the disk so that it gives the better performance the interconnections between the non driver files and the driver files of doing a joins will be less and gives the fastest performance by loading the 
a uh, small amount of the data into the ram so this is how we are going to get a performance in this so make sure that the huge amount of the file will be selected as a driving file and another parameter we have it is a maintain order parameter so even this parameter also becomes available when you select sorted input as in memory input need not be sorted so the first two parameters will becomes available when we select sorted input as input must be sorted and the next three parameters becomes available the same parameter sorted input if you select in memory input need not be sorted then this parameter becomes available but when i saying that sorted input as in memory input need not be sorted means whatever the data is coming to the join component based on the key parameter i myself saying that the data will be in unsorted order then in such a case why we have this maintain order parameter like sorted input parameter in memory input need not be sorted on the key can any one of you guess why we have a maintain order parameter if it is like sorted input parameter input must be sorted if we have a maintain order yes it's uh, we feel like a meaningful because the input is sorted and the output uh, we are expecting it to be in the sorted order but we my, ourselves saying that input data is unsorted according to the key parameter and still we are thinking of taking the same order of the output file because we are saying that maintain order of the output file with the input file and by default it will be false if you want you can make it to the true so that you will get and there is a one restriction that i will tell you but can any one of you guess why still we require the order to be maintained with the input even though we are getting unsorted data it may give the output as per the keys right yes yes output will be the same as the input order of the output yeah. okay i will tell you like uh, let's say here we are doing a join on the department number but the data on the file we are getting is order on the higher date like that one of the date field or else the data is sorted on the employee number basis so we are expecting in the other process the data should be ordered or on the key basis of the employee number or the higher date so instead of doing again resorting of the data of the output file whatever we are going to create in the other graph we are going to maintain the same order in this process itself so that i don't want to utilize the sort component which will do the sorting before sending the uh, data to the other components the key based components so that we can achieve one kind of the performance in the other graphs but here the restriction is the data should not be spilled to the disk if the data is spilled to the disk then the chances of maintaining the order of the output file with the input will be a toss it cannot be guaranteed that it will maintain and if the order cannot be maintained the graph will fail so that is the reason most of the cases we go for maintain order as a false the default value but if you are sure your process can hold with the max core bytes of the memory the total core the join processing then you can set the maintain order as a true and if you are getting any of the uh, field in the sorted order other than the key parameter and you are expecting the same order in the other graphs to be utilized this output file then in those regions you have to set it maintain order as a true and the main reason you have to make sure is the data should be fitted into the max core memory if it is a chances are there to spill to the disk then the graph might fail if it is not maintaining the order <laughs> clear ravali and bagaraj these are the six parameters where we stopped yesterday yeah, yeah. and one more parameter is it let me discuss uh, yeah bagaraj you have any doubt 
Yeah, uh, Venkat, uh, then uh, which one is more preferable? I it mean, uh, sorter in, uh, input must be sorted or in memory. Yeah. See, if you so, have a list, No, uh, actually, I have the flex. Yeah, yeah, tell me. So that is your question or that I, I can sort add anything else for this question? Yeah, for that question only. Okay, so which option you have to select it? Which uh, one gives the better performance? Whether input must yes, be sorted yes. or in memory, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so yeah. let's yeah. say like uh, we have a count of two for the join. We are joining EMP and DEPT file. If I have a huge files, both are almost equal. And both are like, let's say I have 10 crores of records or 5 crores of records, huge files. Then we have to sort the data and make the join process in the sorted order. Explicitly, we have if the already the files are sorted on the key, what you are expecting, that's fine. Otherwise, we have to use the sort component and make the join process sorted input as input must be sorted. And if you are expecting the less data within the files, then mm. making with the inner in-memory option is a better performance. It depends on the file which you are going to process, depends on the size. Okay. Is it clear? This is the formula we will use it. Yeah. If the data is very high, we have to sort and then send the data to the component, join component. If data is less, in-memory option. Okay. Okay, and one more parameter we have is a reject threshold. This is the common parameter uh, we will be having it only once we will discuss. So reject threshold. So it will say that after rejecting how many records, what is the threshold? I need to set it before failing the graph. That is what. So if I'm setting, if I'm sending hundred records. I know that out of 100, uh, minimum of 10 records will be rejected. So let's say 10% of the re records will be rejected. So if it is crossing 10%, then you fail the graph. So far, you don't fail it. Still, if you get like eight records, you process the graph successfully. If it is rejecting the 11th record or a 12th record, depends on the percentages, we set it. If it is crossing the percent, yes, you fail the graph. Like that also we can set it or we can give the constant value to set it. So we have three values for this reject threshold. The first value is never abort. So never abort means whatever may be the case, the graph has to be succeeded. You said one lakh record, all the records are getting rejected also. The graph will be completed successfully. The output file will be created with the zero records and all the records of one lakh will be rejected in the reject port. Still the graph will be succeeded. This is a never abort. And the second one is abort on first reject. So the client is very pretty much sure that none of the records will be a failure or the rejected. So you will be sending pure data where they will not expect any rejects. But if you are expecting the reject, then fail the process and let me know what is the re record that got rejected. So in such a case, our graph will be set with abort on first reject. Whenever we encounter the first re record of the rejection, then on itself the graph will fail. And the third one will be use limit ramp so if you are setting if you are selecting use limit ramp in the reject threshold then two more parameters becomes available that is limit and ramp so the default will be 0 and ramp will be 0, 0.0 here the form law how this will be calculated for the reject threshold when you set use limit and ramp is limit plus ramp into number of records processed so far.
So let's take an example. I set limit as 1 and ramp as 0.1. Or else we go for 10 percentage, make the limit as 0 only. So and we are processing 100th record. So when the graph will succeed and when the graph will fail you, we will discuss that. So let's say we are processing 100th record. Limit will be 0 plus ramp 0 0.1 into 100. So till 10 records of 100th record processing, till 10 records of rejection, it will not be a failure. If it is crossing 10, that is 11th record is getting rejected when we are processing the 100th record, then the graph will fail. So that is how the reset threshold will be calculated when you select use limit ramp. So clear? Never about the graph will not be fail for about on first reset. For the first reset, the graph will fail and use limit ramp based on the percentages or any of the calculations, it will fail if it is crossing that threshold. Clear Ravali and Bhagirash? Yeah, I uh, got one question. Yeah. Uh, for example, I have processed 100 records. Okay. Okay. Among those, 9 records got rejected. Okay. So graph won't fail. No, and again, it will not fail. Start from the, if you are setting limit as 0 yeah. and ramp as 0 0.1, then the graph will not fail. Yeah. Yeah. And I will start from the 1 at 1. Okay. Then will it uh, count these 9 rejected records or it will delete those 9 rejected and it will go for the fresh count? No, no, no. It will count it. So that is the reason I said number Means, uh, of records processed so far. Based on this records processing, it will every time check the calculation of this. Okay. Suppose I at the 150th record, I get that uh, reject, then will it get paid? Uh, how many records got rejected while you are processing 150th record? Uh, 11. No, it will not fail. Because if you go for uh, percentage wise, uh, it will be calculated as a 10%. So for 150 till 15 records, it will not fail. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Any other questions? No. Okay, fine. When did this limit and ramp value, uh, did you say uh, 0 and 0 0.1 are the default values? No, no, no. 0 and 0, 0.0 will be the default values. Just for our explanation, so of calculating 10 percentage, I have given ramp as 0 0.1. Because this is the formula internally, it will get executed. Okay, and is there any range for these values? Mm, what do you mean in the range if you say? Like uh, you said 0, 0.0 is the default value, right? Okay, Can we give yeah. 5 or 6, something like that for the if you are giving the high value, let's say 1, then let's say like you are giving not even 5 or 6 ramp as a 1, then it will be equivalent to the never abort. Yeah. Because 1 into number of records process so far. It's like we are processing 100 record, all the 100 records get rejected also. We are saying the graph should not fail. So which is equivalent to never abort. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, no, that's it. I'm good. Okay. We'll go to practicals then. Okay, the first example we are discussing is inner join with sorted data. Let's look at the data first. Thank you. 
okay so on what case we are doing a join here we are doing a join on department number from n0 file n0 file and doing a join on dno on in one file and sorry and we said sorted input as input must be sorted so on the dno field yes we are getting the sorted data on the dno sorry on dept file we are getting the sorted data and dno field but from the emp file we are not getting the sorted data on the dept number if you can see 10 20 30 and then 10 20 10 20 30 so which is unsorted data but we are expecting input must be sorted so that is the reason we have used a sort component which will take the data of this file and does a sorting on department number field so that we will discuss again so once the data has come out from the sort component the data will be on the sorted order so i wanted to look at so if this is a like a data set component whether it's an input file or an output file i can able to view the data but if it is other than these components data set components or a database components i cannot view the data on the components that it got disabled so how can i view that the data which is coming uh, from the input file and making the data into sorted order on this department number field and sending the data to the join component so to view the data after the sort happened and before going to the join component so the data will be flowing only on the flows so on the flows we can view the data so but do we have an option to view the data no so by default we will not be having an option to view the data on the flow but to view the data on the flow you have to add a watcher so enable and add a watcher so that a watcher will get added on the flow then you will get an option to view the data yes now you have an option to view the data on this flow but it got disabled because the watchers are not permanent to the graph it is just for debugging purpose we will be adding a watchers so whenever i close the graph automatically this watcher will get deleted and when it will be created whenever we run the graph the watcher will get created automatically so just for debugging purpose we will be utilizing it so this is my data from the input file which is unsorted and after the sort i have added a watcher let me run the graph so creating a watcher data sets Uh, for example, I have created watches. Okay. For all the flows. Okay. And then I have created this script with that. What is that? Dot cache. Okay. Uh, will it be a performance issue for that? Because of the watches? No, it will get automatically. Yeah. What is this? Uh, whenever you close the graph, automatically it will get deleted. I have created the case within the, I mean, with the watches, right? It will not be there. See, whenever we close the graph, see, whenever you save the graph or compile the graph, the cases will get generated, right? Right? Hello? Can you able to hear me, Bhagraj? Hello? Oh, seems like he went offline now, like that. He's not there. Oh. I don't know. Might have got disconnected. Maybe.
and let's wait for a couple of minutes okay hello 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 yeah bagiraj hello so was just going to okay so i was just going to okay okay so let's let me look at the data in the watcher so this is a old version so most of the things it will not support actually okay so now the data after the sort component it got sorted and what kind of the join we are doing it here so inner join we are doing it so as we discussed the join talk will contain three types inner join full auto join and explicit join so only whenever we select explicit join then only i can able to see record required parameter but we are doing now inner join let's discuss on this and dedux we are not doing select override key so as we set sorted input parameter as input must be sorted so we are able to see max memory and here the check sort parameter is not available in the old version but in the new, new version we have that and let's see the transformation this is what the transformation we have written we have to write a function called join which takes two arguments that is in0 and in1 and returns an output so what are the output fields we are assigning from which of the file so few i am assigning from in0 and few i am assigning from in1 so if i have like 100 fields in the output file or output port component output port the record format of of the output port is 100 fields then i need to assign 100 fields like this from in0 and in1 no this is one way of doing it but most of the cases we will write the code like out dot store we will use a while code characters colon colon in zero dot store and and then we will make it with in one so we will we will remove all this code and we will just put it only this when wherever we are expecting because whatever the field names if you can see out dot employee number is matching a field name with in zero dot employee number so whenever there is a matching fields or there automatically it will get assigned so we can remove this complete code and just put it only these two lines of the code but still there is one problem by doing this so it will give ambiguity so which uh, sorry not the ambiguity which fields from which file code has to be assigned first to the output so we have to make the priority because these both records are on the same priority out dot store both two times we are assigning to the output fields with the two input fields so to make the priority between these columns we have to give the number so if i give like this with this 
let me do this yes so first all the fields coming from the n0 will get assigned to the output then the remaining fields will get assigned from the n1 dot out like that also we can do Let's look at the output file. Nine records are there. So here the distinct department numbers from the N0 file are 10, 20, 30 and 50. And here 10, 20, 30, 40. So there is one record which will not match the 50 department record with the in one file. So all other records are the nine records where we will get an inner join records. Clear? If it is clear, we will go to the next example. Is it fine? Okay. Okay. So deleting the temporary watcher data sets. Uh, and one thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, when I created watchers on my graphs. Okay. Uh, whenever I, I mean, close the graph, it will get deleted. Okay. Whenever, and whenever I enable that uh, watcher, okay. automatically it is getting. Automatically? <laughs> Hello? Is... Bangladesh, is, your voice is breaking. The thing like that. No, your voice is breaking actually. Hello. It is. I mean, whenever enable the watcher. Ravali, can you able to hear his voice properly for you? I know, Vinkat, it's breaking for me too. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think Bhagirath's problem is from your side. Your voice is breaking. Did he go online? Oh no, he's there. I don't know. It is online only. Yeah, he is there. Hello, Bagiraj? Hello. Are you talking to me? Your voice is breaking, Bagiraj. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I think now it's fine. Otherwise, can you disconnect and uh, re-log in? Hello, Venkat. Yeah, yeah. Now it's fine. Oh, Venkat, I will able to hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell me Bakiraj. See, whenever I use watches, na, see, okay. uh, whenever I close the graph, it will close. And whenever I enable the means watcher again, I, I don't want to add the watches. Automatically, okay. it is ready. I'm, I'm able to show that watches. So whenever I can reopen the graph, you so can use the case the watcher? like that or uh, again, uh, it should completely delete that. No, I'm not getting your question completely. Yeah. Can you repeat this once again? Uh, see, uh, uh, I have one graph. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have one graph. Okay, I have enabled the watcher and I have added the watcher. Okay. 
and I have closed the graph. Okay. Again, I have opened the graph, and I do, I can't see the uh, watches on that. Yes, yes. Because the watches are not permanent to the graph. Just for debugging purpose, we were adding it. So whenever we run the graph, it will create, and whenever we close the graphs, it will go away. Yeah. yeah. So again, we if you uh, wanted that means you have to add it. Yeah. Uh, and one thing is that. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, means after that, if I enable the watches, if I click on the enable watches, uh, uh, button, no buggers again. Your voice is breaking. I am able to see the uh, uh, watches. Uh, no, your voice is breaking actually. We couldn't hear you properly. Yeah, tell me. See, I have opened one graph and I have added a watch. I kept that. Okay. And again, I have opened the graph. Okay. okay. That time I am not able to see that watches. Okay. But uh, after when I enable the watches. Okay. I am not adding the watches. I am just enabling the watches. Okay. Then in that case, I am able to see the watches which I have added previously. No, no. I have so the watches get deleted automatically. Okay, I will check to today itself. Okay, okay, okay fine. <laughs> Okay, and this example is for processing with unsorted data. So sorted input parameter is set to in memory option. And still we are doing an inner join. So whatever the like we said in, in input must be sorted or in memory the inner join result should come equivalent to the one which we have seen earlier. So as we said sorted input as in memory option. So we have driving port, maintain order and max score parameters and the reset threshold will be having three values about on first reset, never abort or use limit RAM. And now we are not unable to see max memory option because we set in memory option. And whenever you set sorted input as in memory, here itself you can able to see this A to Z will be striked off. If you make it input must be sorted, then it will be highlighted. I'll just show you. See, whenever I just select input must be sorted, this A to Z is highlighted and no strike off is there. And if I make it in memory immediately, that will get like a disabled. So let's run this graph. Okay. So same ten records, or nine records. Okay, so as we expected, nine records, we got nine records in our joint records because 50 is nowhere in the in one department.
so it all like internally how this operation will be performed if you make like sorted input as input must be sorted the join operation will be performed on the disk and if you make in memory the same join operation will be performed on the ram but the result should be same so this is what the result we got it before also with nine records so internally how the join component will operate will be decided by the sorted input parameter let's discuss the other example okay left outer join so so far we discussed only input file and output files but we have not discussed unused ports reject ports error ports so let's see now so if you are saying that a left outer join then what all the records we have in this table all the records should be flowing here whether we have a matching record in the in one file or not but in zero records should be flowing to the output file so let's see that it is happening or not Okay, so we have 10 records from the in zero file and 4 records from in one. So previously for inner join we got records only till here. Now we got 50th department also. So all the records which are in the in zero file has flown to output file, output port. But we don't have a matching record from the in one. So what we got some values. So let's look at it how we got this. So in the transformation we were doing this. So this is what the assignment we have given for the same one. Outdoor department number twice we are assigning it. So we have made the priority first and second. So whenever this condition fails you take it this. So that is the reason for the first nine records we got it the value from the in one and for the 10th record where we are getting nulls we have taken zeros and n by a values for dno dname and location so that is the reason you can able to see zeros and n by a values because of this prioritized assignments so like this we can produce otherwise if you don't assign you just assign only in one fields without priorities then you can able to see nulls here just to give the man meaningful names we are assigning this in the transformation and okay now I got it all the records from the in zero for the left outer join fine so I can able to see all the records of inner join and one record with the like a left outer join so totally this is a left outer join but if you see this 40th record department nowhere it is participated so where this record is going so oh, Whatever the highlighted records, all those records are processed from in zero and in one. But this is the only record which is not processed. So where it is going? So it will be flowing to unused port because we don't have a matching record. But here we have two unused ports, unused zero and unused one. So as the record is coming from the in one port, this record will be going to unused port. So that is the reason you can able to see one record is flowing to the unused port and use one port so this record we have not utilized in the transformation okay so whichever record will not be participated in the transformations will be going to unused ports so 40th department has been prone to unused one port because it is from the in one file 
is it clear the left outer join hello bagiraj and ravali yes yes ravali for you yeah we are here okay fine yeah we will stop yeah, it okay. here and tomorrow we will discuss with right outer join and pull outer join examples is it okay. fine any doubts you have it before closing the session for today Uh, nothing for nothing, my side. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you. We'll meet tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, Bagrat. Yeah, thank you, Bagrat. Thanks, Ravi.